The Reformation took place at, as the culture is transitioning from an oral culture to a print culture. When people um, can read, you can read, you can stop, think about something, go back, reread. So it becomes sort of your personal uh, internalized message. As the seeds of the Reformation are taking root, Johannes Gutenberg's printing press is changing the world. What once was an oral culture, where you have to hear the spoken word, becomes a literary culture, where the words are written. As more and more people learn to read, printers devise ways to get their words to the readers and the readers' money into their pockets. They have everything from broadsheets, where they take a whole sheet and, and have some kind of illustration with also a paragraph. So people who could read could read the paragraph, and even illiterate people can look at the illustration and kind of get the point. The folio means we take the big sheet, standard piece of paper, and fold it once, rather like a newspaper. You've got a sheet of newsprint folded once. A second time, and it becomes a quarto. Octavos are cheaper. Of course, every time you fold, it gets smaller and thicker. The Reformation latched onto this new means of communication, and they flooded the market with Reformation ideas. Everything from pamphlets to almost like uh, cartoon books, almost like what we think of as political cartoons, to sermon books, to catechisms, to uh, learned treatises. They all published their opponents probably by 20 to 1 for several decades. The church publishes mostly big and bulky books written for scholars, while the reformers produce short little snappy pieces aimed at the laity. And part of Martin Luther's genius is his ability to communicate with the masses. The 95 Theses, the letter to Albrecht, and then the sermon on uh, indulgences and grace that Luther publishes. And those three then will kind of be the essential documents of the kind of spark that leads to the Reformation. Well, Luther would we'd preach the sermon. He had a manuscript. The text uh, that is published is always longer. But then the sermons would be fleshed out because, because they also understand people are now reading these things. They're not just listening. When this sermon comes out, within the next three years, there are 20 reprints or 25 reprints. And that's what made Luther a household name. You know, as much as we talk that the ideas of the Reformation is, are what caught fire, which is true, almost as important is the way those ideas got out, and that is utilizing every available means of printing them or publishing them.